guys. I know it's super early to be thinking about Christmas and Christmas colors for our ink pens, but I had to pop on today and show you what I received with my Jubilee order for Ferris Wheel Press and my little pen haul. I was super excited that these things are gonna go together so well. Um, so let's take a look at the ink first. So this is the Ferris Wheel Press ink in the Velvet, Velvet, <laughs> the Velvet Ballet. And I love, look at that. There's a little tiny bear dancing there with a little rabbit on the front. How incredibly sweet. And I love the detail in these boxes. And you can see the little tiny animals uh, kind of watching the show there. Just so beautiful. Um, yeah, every detail of the box. I mean, they just put so much work into their packaging. So let's go ahead and take a look at the ink bottle. I will probably swatch it today, but I don't know if I'll fill the pen. So they always come really well wrapped on the inside. And then let's take a look at the shimmer in this. This says that it's a Merlot color of red. Look at the shimmer in this. Oh my goodness, so exciting. Velvet Ballet, just beautiful. Of course, my dog's munching on a toy over there. Hopefully you cannot hear that. Or if you do, it's not too distracting. The other color, and this is from their Everyday Ink line. Uh, this one is called Twinkling Tea Party. Just so adorable. Look at the little bunny rabbit there. And hopefully you can see this, the little teacups all piled up there. This is from their, um, which line is this from? This is from the um, Ferris t fairy, fairy Tales Collection line. And let's take a look at this one. This one is a, it's described as a forest green color. And look at the shimmer in that one. So pretty. It's like a rose gold and a forest green. And that's the, the color swatch on the bottle there. So super cute. So the pens that I had, it was just by pure coincidence that I ended up with ordering a green one this time around. Um, but I have this new Twisby that I purchased. I've been loving the Twisby Eco. They're so easy for me to fill. Um, I'm very beginning pen. And I loved the Eco line. I've been adding slowly-ish to my collection. And I thought this white one would be a fun color to have in my collection. And I'm gonna pair the white with the um, Velvet Ballet. And then I also got a Pelican pen. I wanted one of these. So the one that I selected was this packaging on this. What is the name of this? Good Lord, it would help if I had my glasses on. Uh, it's pastel green. <laughs> okay, so pastel green. It comes really lovely packaged. And you can see the little pelican there. Let's go ahead and pull the ribbon off of this. And... Oh, that's packaged up. Not that nice. Oh. <laughs> Sorry about my fingers, they look terrible. When I get overwhelmed at work, I tend to pick. <laughs> anyway, you probably didn't need to know that. So here is the um, Pelican in pastel green. And this is an M200. Get out of there. I got it from Amazon. The packaging didn't look all that great, but I think the pen looks fine, I guess. No issues there, I guess. Huh, okay, there we go. Yeah, and I got this in a, I think it was a fine nib. Yep, fine nib. So I love the piston fillers and I think this will make a, a pretty combination for my holiday colors. So we can go ahead and swatch these. Um, I haven't been filming too long, so it won't be too overwhelming here. 
Uh, let's see, I've got my handy dandy swatch book. If I have time, I'll fill them. Um, we'll go ahead and swatch these. And this is my normal little swatch book. And we'll go first with, where's my clip to hold this little guy open? Let's see, here it is. So we'll go ahead and start with the green, and this is the Twinkling Tea Party. So pretty. Give this a good shake. And, oh man, that's on there. Maybe we won't be swatching. Ugh, I have to find something to pull that off. All right, I got it. <laughs> okay. So this is a forest green with a rose gold shimmer. So hopefully, I can already see some of the rose gold on there, so I think I'm in good shape. Oh, that's really pretty. This already reminds me of a similar one. We'll back up and see if we can find it. But there we go, the forest green. Let me bring you down a little bit more. We'll let that dry. Hopefully we picked up some of the shimmer in there. And then this next one, can't wait for this, the Velvet Ballet. My goodness, that's pretty. Get that all in there. And I thought that the demonstrators, um, since I had them and I got these inks in, I thought this would be a good pairing so that you can see that shimmer in these floating in the inks. So let's go ahead and try this one. I'll just use the other end of that. Oh, that's pretty. This will be a good one to address the outsides of cards with. Oh yeah, you can definitely see the shimmer on that one. Yeah, that's really pretty. All right, we'll let those dry for just a second. And I guess I'm feeling pretty confident that I can ink on camera. <laughs> um, you're really not able to see the shimmer on these yet. It's still drying, so we'll come back to that. All right, I think I'm gonna try this one first. Give it a little shake here. I said this is a fine nib. Let's see here. It fits down in the bottle with no problem. This one's going to be igged up for a little while, so I'll give it a, a decent fill here. And that filled up with no problem at all. I probably need to wipe it down here, definitely. It's got a decent amount in there, and I feel like I caught some of the shimmer in there. And let's go ahead and write down what this is. This pen writes beautifully. Ugh, it's beautiful. All right, so there is my Pelican and a fine tip. And you can start to see that shimmer on there now. Shut subtle, but it's there. Twinkling Tea Party, beautiful. All right, let's go ahead and do the Velvet Ballet. Ah! 
No. <laughs> okay. All right, let's try this again. Which nib did I get this in? Man, I'm a mess. What did I get that in? Does that say fine? It probably says on my box. This is an extra fine. Okay. Yep, made a mess of that too. <laughs> All right, um, lid on before I spill it again. And then we'll tighten it down this time. And this is called, get off of there. Velvet, am I in frame? There. And it's going to look great in the pen. You can already see the shimmer floating around in there. Here are my Christmas pens, red and green, with my Ferris wheel pressed inks. This is um, not one of my better videos. <laughs> All right, anyway, uh, I hope you've enjoyed watching this horribly messy swatch. All right, I didn't want to end the video without showing you guys the tarot decks that I'm gonna pair to go with this. Um, the first one is the Two Witches Yule Edition. I found this off of Etsy, and I'll just do a quick flip through of the cards. I think they're beautiful. There's only 20 of them and they call them their Yule heroes. And they discussed that some of them are naughty and some of them are good, some of them are mischievous. And it, you basically you read the meanings of the cards in any way that you see fit. So just very intuitive on how you want to interpret the cards um, according to the guidebook or not. Look at that, isn't that pretty? So this, I think, with the red and green is just beautiful. I love this one. And it, you've got some tradition in it and some fun in it. So this one, I think, is um, just a really beautiful deck to pair with it. I got this at the end of last season, and it came after the holidays, so I really didn't use it, and I just kind of set it to the side. But that's the Two Witches Oracle, their Yule edition. If I can remember, I'll link it where I got it off of Etsy. And then the other Oracle deck that I'll be using is the Seasons of the Witch. And for obvious reasons, <laughs> I love this deck. And I think it goes beautifully with these cards or with these um, colors. Love that. Look at the sides there. Beautiful. Just beautiful. And if you take a look at the card colors and the inks, look how pretty that goes together. Just beautifully. And I'll just do a quick flip of these. I'm sure that everyone's seen them before, but we'll just do a quick flip there. Um, yum, yes please. Tranquility. Cold Moon, Wreath, Remembering, Father Christmas, Dove Medicine, Star, Wise Man, Poinsettia, I love this too, Storm, there's always storms in the winter, Ringing the Bell, 
snow. Silent night. Solstice. Chills. Darkest hour. Cardinal medicine. Ornaments. Forest. I love this. Contemplation. Mother Mary. Falling in love. Hearth. Bear medicine. Frost. Ceremony. Feasting. Turning inward. Quite honestly, this is me all the time. <laughs> Light. Crone. I guess that's me too. Mistletoe. Self-care. Gratitude. Reindeer medicine. Merriment. Telling stories. Candle magic. Greetings. Yule log. Family. And squirrel medicine. So I'm super excited to pair this deck and the... Um, and this little guy, the Yule edition, together with these inks in my tarot journal. And uh, I think they'll be a perfect match. Again, thanks so much for watching, and um, I'll see you next time. Bye.